Welcome, I'm here today with Jed Coffin, and he is the author of Rough House Friday and A Chant to Soothe Wild, uh, Wild Elephants, which actually was my favorite. I loved that. I really did. Great, thanks. Um, I can't wait to hear you talk a little bit more about that. Um, and Jed is gonna be teaching for us this summer for the first time in the New Hampshire Literacy Institute. Um, so we're just here to pick his brain a little bit. Um, so welcome, Jed. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So if we could just start out and you could maybe talk about um, your books. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, both memoirs, uh, both obviously very personal stories. The first one I wrote when I was probably 27, 28, um, and uh, really was my first crack at trying to um, understand the cultural story of my, my mother's arrival in the United States and um, how I could stay connected to her history in the village where she comes from and uh, where all of my family still lives in central Thailand. Um, so that was a, a fun book to write. Um, the material is obviously very accessible for me. Uh, it was um, about the three months that I spent living in a, in a Buddhist temple in her village, uh, the same temple where my uncle and um, grandfather had been monks. Um, so, uh, but you know, uh, at 27, I didn't really have a, a full understanding of the complexity of the story I was trying to tell. I think that's one of the things you learn about, about telling stories um, in time is that um, you can start out and you're just peeling back layers. So I just, I think I sort of peeled back the first couple layers. Um, the next book I wrote, uh, it's called Rough House Friday, it's also a memoir came out about 10 years later. Uh, very dramatic story around how that book came to, to light, but um, it's about a very different experience. Uh, the years I spent boxing in a bar room in Southeast Alaska, and um, it's attacking that cultural story from a really different angle, primarily the uh, story of my, my relationship with my father um, uh, and how I came to face that story um, uh, as a young man. Yeah. 